hello guys once again welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this video here i am going to demonstrate how to place a nav bar or a toolbar for your android application we can start with a new android studio project uh, here i name it as app bar example select md activity and click finish So now here the project is created so before going to proceed here i will show you an example of app bar or a toolbar so this is a simple example of app bar so now go back to our android studio project now open the layout so here as you can see here there is already an application bar available so why we need to use an app bar or a toolbar so this is an example of application bar both are almost the same but the thing is that this is not an app bar this is actually an action bar so the default theme of every android studio project contain a native action bar the action bar is deprecated now so instead of action bar we have to use a toolbar so the first step we have to remove the default action bar from this application that means we have to modify the current theme of this application for that open a resource folder uh, go to values folder open styles.xml so here i'm going to make a simple change this is the current theme parent so here i'm going to make a simple change instead of the dark action bar here i'm going to use this one no action bar so this will simply remove the native action bar from this application now go back to the layout and here you can see the default action bar is now gone so instead of action bar here we are going to place a toolbar the recommended way to place an application bar is to use the support library version of toolbar so here i am going to show you how to set a support library version of toolbar as the default action bar for an activity so in this project we have only one activity that is the main activity so here i am going to place the support library version of toolbar as the default action bar for this activity so the first thing uh, we have to create a separate layout for the toolbar so open the layout folder right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file uh, here i name it as toolbar layout now here i change the root element into toolbar so here we, you have two options first one is the framework version of toolbar and second one is the support library version of toolbar so you have to use the support library version of toolbar and click ok so now here the toolbar is created now go to the xml version so here the layout width is much parent uh, layout height is much parent i'm going to modify the layout height into action bar size So now the action bar is available here. Now we have to set a background color for the action bar. Sorry, it is not action bar, it is toolbar. Now we need to set a background color for the toolbar. So the recommended, the recommended material color for the toolbar is the primary color, the color primary. So now I'm going to set the background color, so background. set into color primary so now we can set the theme for the action bar sorry toolbar so android theme so here i am going to use this theme theme overlay dot up compact dot dark action bar so if i select the up compact dot dark action bar it will display the font it will display the text on the toolbar in white font otherwise it will be dark 
so here I use this theme up comeback dot dark action bar so now we can set a pop-up theme for that here I am going to I need one more XML namespace so here I change the XML namespace name into app here also make some modification which is resource auto okay so by using that newly created XML namespace here I'm going to specify the pop-up theme I'm going to use the pop-up theme as theme overlay dot app comeback dot light okay finally we need an ID for the toolbar so specify an ID for it here I name it as toolbar okay so now th now the action bar is ready sorry the toolbar is ready now we can place the toolbar for the activity that means we have to place this toolbar inside our activity so go back to activity main.xml go to the xml version so here the current root element is a constrained layout so now i change the root element into a linear layout this is for my convenience you can use a linear layout relative layout or you can use the constraint layout itself so now and I need to specify the orientation for this layout orientation is vertical okay so there is a text view is available no need of that one so now here I'm going to place the toolbar into this layout for that you can simply use the XML element called include so here we need to include a layout the layout that contain the toolbar so now specify the layout so our layout file name is toolbar layout and close that element okay so here we successfully place the toolbar into the activity layout file so now we can check it out so now uh, I open one of the virtual device and now here the virtual device is ready so now I'm going to run the project so run the project okay now the application available on this virtual device and here you can see that particular toolbar is now available on this activity so here we successfully placed the toolbar on this activity but still that toolbar is not the default action bar for this activity so if the toolbar is the default action bar for this activity the toolbar must display the activity name so here there is no activity name because it is just a toolbar and it is not the default action bar for the particular activity so if you want to make a toolbar as the default action bar for an activity first thing you have to make sure that your activity extends up compact activity so here we have only one activity main activity we already placed the toolbar on the layout of main activity but still that toolbar is not the default action bar for that activity so if you want to make a toolbar into a default action bar first thing you have to make sure that your activity must extends up compact activity now the second step you have to create a handler for the toolbar so here I'm going to create a handler for the toolbar and here you have to make sure that you select the support library version of toolbar now I'm going to initialize the handler so toolbar find view by id or dot id it is toolbar so now the toolbar handler is ready now here I'm going to change the toolbar into the default action bar for this activity for that you have to call a method called the set support action bar and you have to pass the toolbar object here it is toolbar so now the toolbar is the default action bar for this activity so we can check it again now run the project again and now here we have the toolbar and the toolbar display the activity name that means now this toolbar is the default action bar for this activity 
This is how we place an application bar or a toolbar for an activity in your Android application. I hope you understand the concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.